Cynthia Denise Bailey is an American model, reality television personality, and actress. Cynthia Bailey, to me, is one of the prettiest housewives. Her cheekbones, I'm obsessed with her cheekbones, okay, because I have high cheekbones too. I just love her cheekbones. They could cut through glass, honey. She always had such a nice smile and pearly whites. Her skin glowed like the African sun and she was just truly a showstopper type of model. I would say in the prime of Housewives before it got so messy, the show did help in increasing her popularity to newer audiences, but I feel it also removed that element of mysterious charm that the 90s models have. And Cynthia the model was regal and so mysterious. We all wanted to know more and was in awe her looks but just like with Kenya Moore which I did a video for now I'll link it in the comment section and pin it for you guys in the end cards I should watch it I love me some Kenya Moore too I never like when these icons that accomplish so much in their life you know and are bigger to me than housewives go and do housewives it's nothing against housewives i mean because we all was watching but there's just some legends that you just don't want to see on there right like can you imagine beyonce joining housewives comment below i really want to know your thoughts i want to do a poll okay if you guys heard that Beyonce, even like Janet Jackson or something, was going to do Real Housewives, would you feel that Real Housewives would help their legacy or it would take away from their legacy? Comment below your thoughts because that's what I mean. And I just feel like Cynthia's legacy is a lot more than Housewives. And some of you guys may not agree just because y'all not really too keen with just how much she accomplished and how legendary she was to me and so many others i mean when she joined the real housewives i remember her trending for days on twitter <laughs> those early years and, and i remember that's all we talked about we all wanted to go into the bailey agency school of fashion because she had her own agency and we just thought this was just a gorgeous stunning woman and we wanted to know more about her and everybody started learning about who cynthia bailey was it was just a time right so it did help in terms of bringing her to a newer audience but the show wasn't like it is today which is just a whole bunch of antics it's messy everyone's on social media there was a time when the housewives I know it's it sucks it's hard to say classy right but there was a time in the beginning where it was a little bit more class you know you watch with a glass of wine honey now <laughs> comment below if you guys know what I'm talking about if I'm explaining that well and I mean that to no offense to any ladies that are on the housewives but there's just some people you just don't want to see on there, right? Because people now know Sin more for the housewives than her incredible modeling career, they don't know about her being a music video vixen. She started movies. She even has her own modeling agency called the Bailey NGC. She was an it girl. She still is, don't get me wrong. Cynthia's most notable work was as a model, and I'm going to highlight that in this video. We're also going to talk about the whole Russell Simmons thing. We're going to do a full model profile for her from analyzing not just her modeling days, but her beauty, workout routines, diet, all of these things, right? right and the makeup and some of the fun things first hey friend welcome to my channel Karina Lude where we deep dive and break down the most iconic stars through history if you're not yet subscribed please be sure to do so and if you're already subscribed please turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload but as far as her childhood once upon a time in the heart of Alabama on the 19th day of February in 1967 a star was born and her name was Cynthia Denise Bailey her humble beginnings trace back to the small town of Decatur where she was raised by her hard-working parents Eli Elijah and Barbara. Elijah made his living laboring away at an auto factory while Barbara stitched dreams into reality at a local sewing factory. Barbara was just a tender age of 18 when she welcomed Cynthia into this world and soon after another bundle of joy Mallory joined their family. In a surprising revelation on the hit show The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia's mother confessed to having suffered DV and her relationship with Cynthia's father. During Kenya Moore's DV public service announcement, she advised her daughters never to tolerate any form of disrespect or physical harm from a man. This confession strains Cynthia's relationship with her father, but she still loves both her parents dearly. Cynthia's early life remains quite private with only snippets shared on the show, giving us a glimpse into her childhood experiences. On the brink of adulthood, Cynthia took her first steps towards fulfilling her dreams. She enrolled in freshman level courses at the University of Alabama in Huntsville and started competing in local beauty pageants. Making history, she became the first African-American home coming queen at 
at Deschle High School. Fate had other plans. A talent scout from the renowned Wilhelmina models spotted her potential. At just 18, Cynthia packed her bags, waved goodbye to Alabama, and headed for the bright lights of New York City. Let's get into her career. Bailey told Us Magazine that my first job was at Taco Bell. I moved up quite quickly. I was a manager at my branch after about four months. I worked at Wendy's for a short time as well, and somehow I was on the baked potato duty. 1985, Bailey made her acting debut in a low-budget horror film, The Dark Power. She then graced the small screen in 1989, starring in the music video for New Order's catchy tune, Round and Round. And in 1990, it was a memorable year for Bailey as she portrayed Roxanne in the movie, Without You, I'm Nothing. Bailey also had a guest appearance in a beloved sitcom, The Cosby Show, in 1990. Fast forward to 1991, and her audition for the film, The Five Heartbeats, was so impressive. It was showcased in a 2018 documentary about the making of the film. She appeared in the music video for Heavy D's single, Nothing But Love. Bailey then took a break from acting to strut her stuff on runways in Paris and Milan. After a year, she returned to New York City and became the face of big name brands. She landed her first modeling gig on the cover of Essence magazine in June 1995. And again in 1997, Susan L. Taylor, the editor-in-chief of Essence at the time, named Bailey as one of her favorite models. Now let's get into her model profile before we get into, you know, the juicy details. One of her most popular quotes in regards to modeling is, and I quote, The thing that modeling has taught me about beauty is that it's really individual. I work with so many different types of beauties as a model. It's not so much traditional. It's about working with what you have and owning it. Confidence is so much of a part of being beautiful. I've met so many women who weren't model beautiful. Their confidence in everything about them is so beautiful to me, end quote. Today, Cynthia is 56 years young and she looks like she's not a day short of 30. Her body is snatched, her face card is still valid, and cheekbones are higher than ever. She takes very good care of herself, okay? But in terms of hair, in the 90s, my favorite style from her was the shortcut. It highlighted her cheekbones and features so well. I also love the sleek look also. Today, she still plays around with various hairstyles and serve iconic looks. She told Essence, I am the hair queen on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I like to change it up. I've I've never been just a hairstyle. People actually look forward to seeing my different hairstyles on the show. I like to keep it fresh and perfect hair extensions. Just give me a lot of different textures and lengths it works with to always keep a new look going. I think I change my hair like I change my jewelry every day if I can, end quote. When it comes to skincare, her skin was always so creamy smooth and blemish free. She often sports a fresh face, especially in her modeling days. Her secret is seaweed body soap. She told Essence, it keeps my skin beautiful. It's just a amazing. It just leaves my skin moisturized. I don't really even need to use lotion after I bathe in this soap because it's just so moisturizing. Vaseline is also one of her secrets. She said, don't rule out Vaseline. It's the pristine skin models go to moisturizer in a pinch. Elbows, knees, lip balm. She even carries a little pot of it in her purse everywhere she goes. She also exfoliates a lot. She said, I'm a very big fan of exfoliation. I do daily exfoliation. Skincare is very individual. I can tell you that a daily exfoliate is very important to keep your skin glowing. It really just gives your face a beautiful glow. If I feel like a pimple's coming, all I do is dip a little Q-tip in the alcohol and promise you it's gone the next day. End quote. In terms of getting work done, in her modeling days, she was completely natural. But these days, Miss Bailey enjoys the fruits of cosmetic advancements with fillers and Botox. After Portia Williams shaded her about her Botox use, Bailey stated, and I quote, Portia made a dig about Botox. I mean, I've had a little bit of Botox, but like a drop in between my eyebrows. I'm not like frozen face or anything. She had fillers on her ended eyes, injections from Dr. Simone Orion and Beverly Hills to help her with her under eye circles. And this is according to People. Cynthia Bailey admitted to getting breast implants during an appearance on Watch What Happened Lives. She said she got her breast done after breastfeeding her daughter, Noelle. Cynthia said, and I quote, I filled up the air in the tires with mine. They're cute. No one really knows I've had a boob job, end quote. Cynthia surprisingly says she's not a big workout girl. She prefers outdoor workouts, walks and runs around the park. She is also very into yoga. She likes the meditation portion and thinks it's relaxing. She tries to start her day with 30 minutes of meditation as well. In terms of diet, the 56-year-old told people when she has a craving for something, she goes for it. I don't deprive myself of anything that I have a craving for because I won't stop thinking about it until I eat it and move on, she says. I never add salt or any extra seasoning to my food after it is cooked other than cracked black pepper once it hit my plate. She also likes to drink between three to five bottles of water a day. She said, I crave salty foods, so I try to watch my sodium intake in order to prevent bloating. But part of her balanced diet is also focused on portion control. 
Other than breakfast and dinner, I try to eat everything else in between on a bread and butter plate, Bailey says. If it doesn't fit, don't force it, end quote. In terms of makeup, Cynthia is not afraid of playing with makeup. During her earlier years of modeling, she sported soft natural look with rose cheeks and glossy lids. Her bone structure already gave her a nice contour and today she sports similar soft looks but is not afraid to play with eyeshadows and more colorful inspirations. In terms of her modeling style, Cynthia walked the runways and posed on the covers of magazines. She was a fun, more private model that wasn't making headlines for scandals like her counterparts do in that era. She was in music videos and campaign ads that highlighted her natural beauty. She also got along pretty well with other models, with Iman inviting her to that shoot that we just talked about. She also still to this day loved to share other models on her Twitter and Facebook page, always giving Iman her flowers, right? She wasn't known as a haute couture type of model, but clothes laid on her like a hanger. Everything she wore looked spectacular, even today. Cynthia has done endorsement work for the following brands, Maybelline, Oil of Olay, Target, Macy's, Levi's, Mercedes-Benz, Fashion Fair Cosmetics, Neiman Marcus, Bergdorf Goodman, Lord & Taylor, Saks Fifth Avenue, Talbots, and Chico's. Her shoots highlighted her golden skin and cheekbones being her best assets. It definitely needs to be mentioned a little bit more frequently for her work in the fashion industry. She still models now, occasionally just casually eating the girls up. I want Cynthia to know just how iconic she is, and she's still still so youthful and energetic that I can see her doing the catwalk like Naomi still does today and covering huge magazines like Bizarre, Vogue, and Elle. These cheekbones are still giving, okay? And she needs to still remind the girls, okay? I don't like housewives for her anymore. That's just my personal opinion. But of course, it's up to Cynthia um, what she thinks is best for her. I think Cynthia, it would be a great idea if she continued just being an entrepreneur with private providing different goods and services. I was one of those people that went and purchased her shades. Honey, I love her eyewear line and if she goes back into reality tv i would want to see her having a show like america's top model but without the scandal of course and for it to be surrounded highlighting the bailey agency school of fashion right um with different models you know doing competitions or where she's teaching classes and just you know I, I would love that i would love for her to highlight the budding modeling modeling careers of her daughter noel also and other upcoming models with challenges and lessons but more fun stuff like that i would be tuned in Okay, comment below if you, and then I would love if she had guests like the 90s models or something. She could even have a talk show where she interview all of these women, where are they now, and really get into her modeling bag because I don't know, I just don't want anything else for her, me personally. Comment below if you agree with me. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? Or if you think that mm, I like Cynthia on Housewives, she need to be on Housewives. Okay, comment below your thoughts. I, I'm curious to see. But let's get to some of her favorite things before we get into her later career. Her favorite place to visit is Anguilla. Her favorite cheat meal is lemon pepper wings and fries dipped in ranch dressing. Her favorite food though is sushi and her favorite sushi is yellowtail tuna with jalapenos. Nobu is one of her favorite restaurants, but the one in New York to be specific. Her favorite color is black and she said she will wear another color when they make another color that's dark. Already know, leave a black heart in the comments for Miss Bailey, okay? Thumbs up the video and leave a black heart in the comment. Her favorite television show is Law and & Order and her go-to beauty product is lip gloss. She can't live without lip gloss. Like many people, her biggest fear is failure. She is an organized person in real life. She keeps various Ziploc bags in her purse where she puts all her necessary items, okay? In 2010, Cynthia Bailey took a leap of faith and joined the high-profile reality TV show, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. This was where she introduced her boat club owner, Peter Thomas, and Peter Thomas to me was so handsome, but like the show just ruined everything. Like that show is just toxic. Cause I was watching old clips yesterday of her marriage to Peter and his tears, he was crying. That man was inconsolable, okay, watching her walk down that aisle. And I did love their relationship so much in the beginning. And I felt like the show just, they look so handsome and nice together. I just don't think that show, reality TV really ruins people, okay? She made her grand entrance in the show's third season alongside Phaedra Parks. And at first, Cynthia had some doubts about joining the show because she found it too dramatic, but she soon turned her thinking around, seeing it as a golden opportunity to expand her business. She was approached by Bravo just after she moved to Atlanta with Peter. The network wanted to add a touch of class to the cast and showcase successful women who had their careers well before the show. And in 2011, Cynthia decided to pass on her knowledge and expertise by opening up her own modeling school, the Bailey Agency School of Fashion, right in the 
heart of Atlanta. The following year, she went on a hunt for fresh faces, conducting a model search in several cities in the South. The winner would bag representation by a top New York modeling agency. Cynthia also dipped her toes into the music industry, as we said. The following year, Cynthia made a cameo in the movie Sharknado, The Fourth Awakens, and guest starred on The Next 15 with her former Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Claudia Jordan. She also showed off her baking skills on a celebrity edition of Cupcake Wars, teaming up with Nene Leakes. Cynthia took on the glamorous role of guest judge for both the preliminary and finals competition of the 65th Miss Universe beauty pageant. And in 2018, she inked a deal with Major Models, a high profile modeling agency based in New York. But she wasn't the only one in her family to join the agency. Her daughter, Noelle, also signed up. Cynthia has always had a knack for business and she puts her entrepreneurial skills to good use by launching her own line of stylish bags named CB Vior, not one to stop at just one venture. She also ventured into home decor, creating a line of cozy candles and sleek leather goods, as well as fashionable eyewear. In July 2019, Cynthia opened a chic wine bar, the Bailey Wine Cellar, and an elegant event space, the Bailey Room, in the trendy neighborhood of Grant Park in Atlanta. This was where wine lovers could sip on fine wines and people could host their special events. That same year, she teamed up with Seagram to create her very own signature drink, a delightful Bellini cocktail. And after being an integral part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta for 11 seasons, Cynthia decided to say goodbye to the show in 2021. But she wasn't done with reality TV just yet. She started in the first season of the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, a spinoff series featuring a mix of women from different Real Housewives franchises. This exciting new show premiered on Peacock in 2021. In an interview with Essence Magazine in 2021, Cynthia revealed that she was ready for a change. But in 2022, she jumped back into reality TV scene. Competing in the third season of Celebrity Big Brother, she showed her competitive spirit and ended up placing third in the contest. That same year, she showcased her acting chops in the 2022 Lifetime movie, Cruel Intentions. And the following year, Cynthia made a guest appearance in its 15th season. Now let's hop into her relationship. Cynthia Bailey's love life has been nothing short of a roller coaster ride. Back in 1996, she was dating basketball player Jason Williams. Now, here's the kicker. Williams popped the question during a halftime show at New Jersey Nets game, but Cynthia didn't feel ready to tie the knot and gave him back the engagement ring. And that's not the only proposal she turned down. Music mogul Russell, Russell Simmons also asked for her hand in marriage. When people think about Simmons' love life, they usually remember his ex-wife and model Kimora Lee Simmons, which I did a video breakdown for also. But before he walked down the aisle with Kimora, he dated Cynthia in the early 90s, just when her modeling career was taking off. They met in the hustle and bustle of New York City, and Cynthia admitted she wasn't initially attracted to Simmons because of his fashion sense, but she agreed to go on a date with him after he kept sending her flowers and wouldn't take no for an answer. He was always around the models, right? Their relationship lasted seven months, but it ended because Cynthia suspected Simmons was cheating. And despite this, they've managed to stay close friends over the years. And Cynthia even praised Simmons for his personal growth, highlighting the difference between the old Russell and the new health conscious yoga loving Russell. And in 2010, Cynthia said, I do to Peter Thomas in a beautiful ceremony at the Friendberg Museum of Natural History. Their wedding was featured on the Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2013. And the couple even wrote a book about their relationship that's called Carry On Baggage, Our Nonstop Flight. But sadly, they announced their separation in 2016 and finalized their divorce in March 2017. Cynthia then found love again with Fox Sport correspondent Mike Hill. They got engaged in July 2019 and tied the knot on October 10th, 2020. But just two years later, in October 2022, Cynthia filed for divorce, which was finalized the same year. And despite rumors of cheating, both Cynthia and Mike denied any infidelity. This is all I have for this video. So interested to read your comments, guys. I'm about to give you guys a quick snippet of my brother's new music that he dropped today, along with some stunning photos of Cynthia Bailey. So be sure to check out this new single with the link in the description also. This is also the music you guys have been hearing in the background and I'm so excited for it. Comment below who else would you guys like me to do a video for. Love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.